What's up, YouTube? Back again for another Meta Monday where we take a look at the top ranked decks in the Gods Unchained weekend ranked action. Uh, this weekend, I went 23 out of 25 with Ramp Magic. A lot of you guys have requested in the comments that we do some magic, but in a free-to-play style. So I remade the deck that I used to go 23 out of 25 using only core cards. Um, here is the list. You can see it in the upper left of the screen as well. But uh, we'll go quickly over all the cards. Athenian Archer, as per usual, a staple. Pick off little stragglers. Um, in this version of the deck, we're going with Deuteria and the Eldritch Demonologist. Um, you'll probably notice that the Demonologist is usually used uh, in conjunction with Demogorgons, but we're not playing Demogorgons because they're not core. Uh, but even still, the Dermatologist here, being able to pull your Deuteria back is an amazing combo. If you can at least play one Deuteria first, uh, or play it even the same turn, and then play a Demonologist, you're going to be getting back a 3-3, or even a 5-5, or a 7-7. So this is really going to help you cycle through and pull more large Deuterias, which uh, only cost one mana. You will then later be able to play those large Deuterias alongside of some type of big wall. Like we have these big walls here. We got Minotaur Phalanx. We got Cyclops Defender. This guy is a huge 610 common core card, so you should have a couple. And last but not least, Helian Elite. This guy's enormous uh, and has protected. And then we're going to top out at an Echo. Uh, you could also include cards like uh, Frey is a core card. Frey reduces the cost of cards to two. It's a staple in the ramp magic uh, decks. I chose not to include it here. I don't want to put too many legendary cards in here, but if you've got Deuteria, Echo, and Frey, by all means, play all three. Uh, you can always swap out ones that you don't have. Uh, if you need some other seven drops, uh, Inferno is a huge board wipe. Uh, definitely worth adding. Um... You could even try a Void Drake. It's probably not great, but it could work somewhat as a board wipe if all of your enemy's creatures are at one health and one of them is at two. This is possible. Um, I definitely like Inferno. I love the Cyclops Defender. Uh, that's about it for seven drops. So... We also have Astric Implosions. These are a must. It's a common core card, so hopefully you have two. This is just a phenomenal board wipe. Um, one Ratify. You don't want to run two, probably. If you get stuck with both in your hand and your opponent's playing like aggro, you're just going to lose. Um, Svart Basilisk. We've got a couple in here just in case we need to remove a Relic or wake a creature up. And then, of course, we have the Staple... Manitoad and uh, Sip of Elixirs here. These are going to help you ramp. You're going to be unlocking mana while your opponent is not. And so you're going to just be able to keep dropping bigger and bigger things while they're getting further and further behind. Uh, I've got some Skeleton Heavies here to help with the early game. Time Bombs. These are great core cards that uh, if you're playing clear mind especially you're going to give your god protected if your god is protected the time bomb gets plus one strength and protected otherwise your god gains protected so this is going to come out most of the time as a four two protected for two mana which is huge um and then of course we have the star shard bolts the tracking bolts and i added some staff of shards here just to help with control a little bit be able to ping your opponent's creatures we've got the archer to ping we've got all these spells so hopefully we can keep them under control and then finish them off with these massive creatures at the end of the game so let's take it for a spin and see how it goes all right we're playing against death 
So we're playing Clear Mind. So we can foresee, cycle through our cards. If he's playing Soul Burn, it means he's going to be very aggressive. And we're going to need to find a lot of early game stuff. Continuously protect our face. He's playing Leech Life, which is not often seen. I love Asterisk Implosion against any other god power. I'm not sure about... I'm not sure what he's going to do. I'm keeping Asterisk Implosion. Um, keeping Tracking Ball. I'm going to get rid of Time Bomb. I'm going to keep the Archer because Knock Death likes to play Don't a 2-1. Creature, uh, something asp or something. I can pick that off. Okay. Let's see how many ways you can disappoint Not helpful. Me. So we're just gonna start cycling through, looking for some helpful cards. We want to ramp, so let's find our ramp and start ramping. Interesting. So, so far it kind of seems like he's playing a Soul Burn deck. This looks promising. But without the Soul Burn. So. I'm just going to protect again. That's Keep enough. cycling. Looking for removal. Looking for sip of elixir. Probably just mana toad next turn. Blood ritual is uh, often seen with like board wipes. So I'm not sure what he's aiming to do here, but I'm gonna pick this off now. It would appear I'm out of options. And this is confused, so if it hits here, that's phenomenal for me. If it goes face, that's fine. I don't want it to kill my 1-2. I can trade here. It's just a vanilla 4-5. We could do 5 damage with Asterisk. We need to ramp first. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this out. Just hit him in the face. Protect. Patience is a virtue. I'm going to keep cycling here. You've always liked Stardust, and now I'd love that other asterisk implosion. Because I have a feeling he's about to flood his board here. Alright, it's good that that went face. I can hit this, bring it down to 5 health. It's probably too early for an asterisk implosion here, but... Looks promising. I'm gonna bring it into range, try and ramp more, and then just protect. That's enough for now. We need to keep looking for that other asterisk implosion, because I think we're going to need it. 
The hope here is that uh, this goes face. He hits me in the face for five, and he plays a couple more creatures. If he accidentally trades, then he only has one creature, can't damage my face. Swallower. Okay. This is a perfect asterisk implosion now. So I trade here. This is down to three health. Everything's gone. Out of Next turn, I'm at seven you know, mana, like, and I still have a bag. No. Slapping yourself around with a severed hand. So two turns to healing elite. The possibilities are endless. I might keep this. I don't know, still really just want to find that other Asterisk Implosion. Uh, would like to time bomb, would also like to get my weapon out. I'm gonna get the time bomb out because I have protected. And I'm not gonna use that bag because I want to get that healing out in two turns, probably. Soul Shatter is a good card. Not many people play it. You can just kill any any creature that's three mana or less. A wandering mind treads a dangerous path. Big frontliner. Let's see if he's got some single target removal like Reap. Next turn, if he can't deal with the 610, we've got a 1012 with protected coming. So that would be huge. He can't even deal with a 610. This is going to be problematic for him. I'm gonna see if there's a way to take out the 6-5 though. You can do 4 damage. 5 damage. This is actually tempting here. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I think we have plenty of time. This will also allow me to protect my face. All according to plan. And play a sip of elixir here. Might as well kill one of these. And we don't need the bag anymore because we're at eight next turn. Gonna get rid of the sip, gonna get rid of Minotaur. Now what I'm looking for is still the other Asterisk Implosion if we need it, but also Echo. Or the other Helian Elite. We're looking for some big end game bodies that he's clearly going to have trouble dealing with. Oh. 
you probably rest in pieces. We don't need that other staff of shards. Okay, there's Asterisk Implosion. Finally got through one. Now, now we're going to put out another. He can actually use Blood Ritual, and I don't know if he realizes this because he didn't do it last turn. Uh, what I started to say and then stopped was he should probably use Blood Ritual on the Aetheric Echo. And this would crack my Protected. So I'm actually going to ping this so that he can't use Blood Ritual on the Aetheric Echo. He now has to theoretically sack the 3-3 three, three to be able to crack Protected if he needs to. Black Blood Blast also works. Now you got my Let's attention. ask him the question, do you have two hmm. Black Blood Blasts? Trial of the Underworld. Yikes. Oh my god. Let's crack that protected. What a waste of mana. That's the card we're looking for. It would appear I'm out of options. Let's if see if uh avoid, all you have to do is close your eyes. Let's see if it can help us win no, the game here. Still. What's he got? Is he gonna sack both of his creatures for my ten nine? Who's going to clean up that mess? That's just begging for an echo. Uh, we have to be worried that he still could have more things that can deal uh, instant death. I'm going to play the APEP here. Now you've got my attention. The victories I forge will be the salvation of Stygia. Then probably Cyclops and Skeleton and see if he's got another black blood. Okay. He only has two cards. I think we're probably in the clear here. Knock on wood. So... You need to kill this and then hit this twice with Echo. Or attack this. Kill it with Echo. It does two extra damage, and then I guess kill this with Echo as well. Focus. Then he can't kill this even by buffing. If I kill this instead with Echo, now you've got my attention. Well, if I hit this, it's going to do so much overkill damage. Uh, 
Oh, this is... I messed that up. I think it's okay, though. Now he... Yeah, it's okay. He can't... He can't Blood Ritual this to kill the Frontliner. So unless he has a hard board clear here. Like, rebuild differently. Okay. We have Cyclops Defender. He didn't attack. Uh, he's very lucky I can't kill these. I think we just go Cyclops. Now you've got my attention. Get this out so we can pick off these little dudes. He can kill this. That give this deadly, which doesn't really help. Whew. No more answers. It was a very intense core only uh, ramp magic deck. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any other decks you'd like me to try out. Um, and I will catch you guys next time.